He's a talented actor with an award. Right before we started, you just Andy just said we're co-anchors. We are. All right, uh, with an with an Emmy nomination under his belt. But most importantly, he's Andy Cohen's BFF. So we had to break into Andy's oh, Instagram. Oh yeah, we look good there. We got your photo. Yep. Oh, yeah, and he has a Tony Award, and yeah. he's my good pal. He's John Benjamin Hickey. He's got so much going on these days. He's in the upcoming new movie Truth uh -huh. and Big Stone Gap, which comes out today. Plus, your play opens next month. And my yeah. TV show. And his new TV show. That's right. That's keeping him busy right now. It's Manhattan, where John plays a brilliant physicist who's working on the world's first nuclear bomb, but he runs into a little trouble. Take a look. No, no. No, wait. Wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be in here. Wait. There's been some kind of misunderstanding. Oh my God, you're so good. He's amazing. Oh, Hi, John are. Benjamin. Hi, Hi, guys. I'm so happy to be here. Andy, you I, have a lot of energy today. It's well, really good. Well, that's I what mean, we love, right? How about his Twinkies? Yeah, he good. was upset yes. about the Twinkies. Yeah. Um, Don't mess with them. John, so Manhattan is, it's a great show. It is. It's on WGN. You play kind of, you can't tell whether Frank Winder is a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah. He's a little bit of both. He's like mm -hmm. a mass of contradictions, and mm -hmm. uh, he's doing all the right things for maybe not not all of the right reasons. It's the story of the men and women who built the first atomic bomb mm -hmm. um, in Los Alamos, New Mexico, and everything we know about the world, the government, uh, surveillance, secrets, atomic weaponry, was all sort of born in this time and place, so it makes for explosive drama. How much of it is based on truth? Uh, uh, so much of it is based on truth, but the characters at the center of the show are fictional, so it gives the writers the opportunity yeah. to kind of draw parallels to the world we live in now, which is what makes the show so exciting. And it's like historical science fiction. By the way, I've never asked you this, but did you know anything about the <laughs> making of the atom bomb? I mean, how long have you known me? I, 25 <laughs> years. Any, do, do you think I knew no. anything about no. nuclear theoretical physics? Yes, I know okay. a, a lot more than I did before. Okay, well, I mean, okay. when you're an actor, you weren't paying attention to physics in high school. Right. You were yes. wondering about the school how play. How about Big Stone Ga Gap? Can we talk about that for a minute? Eight Andrew Trigiani, who's a great we writer, love her. I love her. Right, mutual friend of ours. wrote the book. Um, yeah. You went to Big Stone Gap. That's where you I, shot the whole thing, we, right? We filmed it all there in the town where the story is set. That's me kissing, kissing Ashley Hello. Judd. In Kissing Ashley Judd. Yeah. 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 Hilarious. Was kissing like? Ashley. Yeah. It was fantastic. I wanted to kiss her sister and her mom, too. Oh, so. I love the Judds. They weren't on this well, stuff. No, no. The yeah. Judds are nuts. <laughs> I don't know about Ashley, but the other two. And yeah. that's why I love them. She's wonderful. Um, John, also we have to talk about truth. Which I saw the other night. And? It is spectacular. John yeah. plays Kate Blanchett's husband. Right. Yeah. Right. And it is the story of the downfall yeah. Yeah. of Dan, Dan Rather. Rather. Yeah. yeah. And it's incredible. And you, again, are so wonderful in this film. I, I loved playing her husband. My God, what an honor. And uh, Redford as Rather. I mean, you've known Dan Rather for 25 years. Yes. You've worked closely with him. The alchemy of Redford as Rather in this is something so what magical did, to see. What did Dan think of Rather think of it? Did you know? Uh, he was, well, first. First of all, Robert Redford is playing you, yeah. so you're starting with yeah, that. That's a good uh, yeah. And I think Rather is um, thrilled with the movie. The movie is amazing. It asks so many hard questions about journalism and the world we live mm -hmm. in now. And uh, I thought Rather um, loved how hard hitting it was. And it's unsparing for everybody right. in it. And a brilliant, brilliant movie. Unbelievable. Right. We're going to play a little game, you two BFFs. Okay. All, right. all right. You have that game that you play on your show called Plead the Fifth. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you both questions, which you have to answer, which you can't answer. Or if you don't, you plead the fifth. Okay. So you're ready? Here are you go. Are we doing this together? Yes, you are. Okay. We're going to start with you, though, Andy. Okay. Would you rather spend the day with each other or Sarah Jessica Parker? Well, well, Can we have a threesome? No, you have to pick. <laughs> Somebody. Uh, uh, Sarah. Let's Sarah. Okay, Sarah. You're yeah, both going with Sarah. Yeah. All right. Andy, did a guest on your show ever hit on you? Yes, every <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those bartenders he yes, gets on? Why do you think yeah, they're, there. they're there for my pleasure. Has a guest co-host or guest star ever hit on you? Um, yeah, yeah. Who? Uh, can I plead the fifth? Is this plead the fifth? Yes, 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 you can plead the fifth. Yeah, okay, what's, the, what's the okay, besides well, Ashley right. Judd? No, I'm just. All right, kidding. Andy. Who's the most difficult guest who you ever I had to interview? The fifth. Wow. Okay. Who was your most difficult co-star, John? My most difficult co-star? Uh, 
I have already pled the fifth once. I, I, it was children. Anybody under the age of seven. He yeah. hates kids. I Real do quick. not. I you can catch them. the season I, I, premiere I, I, of Manhattan <laughs> Tuesday on WGN America. Truth Hits Theaters next Friday. Big Stone Gap opens today. Plus, great, is, and his play opens at Lincoln when? Center. And it's called November 9th. It's called Data Woof Papa Hot. It's every bit as good as its title. Really, it is. Hey, Today Show YouTube fans, thanks for checking out our channel. Here's how you subscribe. You click the button down here. Yeah, and then what? And then you click on any of the videos over here. And you can watch the latest celebrity interviews. We have highlights. You can watch us all the time. Digital exclusives, too. I didn't even know we had one. Oh, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs>